The notes piped into the cold air of this December afternoon with precision and poignancy as they have for a quarter century. Only this time, for the first time since Steve Watts started doing this, on borrowed bagpipes. We took the front window out first, and I had my garment bag here. After playing at a funeral Monday night, the Marymount officer took his family to Playhouse in the park, emerging to find his trunk cleaned out. Bagpipes, honor guard uniform, carrying bags, all gone. What Watt does is a labor of love, his Scott ancestry reflecting passion for the moving power of the pipes. Irreplaceable mementos were lost last night. People give me pins and all this kind of stuff, and I, I place them inside the bagpipe case. It's like a foam case inside. Kind of push them in there and stuff like that, and they're kind of laying around. And thank you letters, uh, uh, one from Sonny Kim's funeral. It's just huge. You know, it cannot be replaced. It's priceless. Ahead of today's graveside service for 84-year-old Harry Bodie, who as chief deputy was instrumental in starting the bagpipe unit, Watt borrowed this instrument to continue a tradition that has touched countless lives. Mike Robison, recalling his grandfather's funeral. Uh, it was right out of a movie. There was fog, there was dew on the ground, uh, and he's marching away into the fog, uh, playing Amazing Grace. There really wasn't a dry eye. His notes float with inspired tone and honor as he stepped past the family of a now deceased friend, recalling the big hugs that accompanied every visit. Theft could not silence the grace of honoring another good life. Officer Watts says if whoever stole his bagpipes and his honor uniform and medallion is watching this right now, his message to them is to return, notify, drop them off somewhere, notify police where they are. He says unless you're a bagpiper, they won't mean anything to you, but they mean the world to him. Reporting live, John London, WWT News 5.